What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our mini spotlight series, one of my favorite series here at After Buzz TV. I'm Jamie Gray, and we have a very special guest in the studio right now, actor, producer, and writer, Michael Nardelli. Stay with us. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Welcome back. Hey, all right. Hey. Our guest, as you see, I'm not here alone. We have Michael Nardelli. I'm here. You're to support here. You. You're yes. not alone in this. And you know, I was telling you, I was like, I love your last name, Nardelli. It's, Nardelli. It's Nardelli. Nardelli. Or Nardelli. I love, yes. well, whatever you want to say. But yeah, welcome. Rhymes with Giradelli, the chocolate. I was thinking that. You yeah. know, the, maybe that's why you like it. Maybe. It's yeah. a little, you're a little fancy. Yeah. 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 Remind you of candy. <laughs> yeah. But welcome to uh, the After Buzz Studios. So this is your first time here. Thank you. A second time here, actually. Uh, Thank you for when? having me back. Wait, when, when was your first time? Time. Me back. When when did it, when was your first time here? Year uh, when Circle came out, which was like oh, uh, wow. in like 2015. So I yeah. was young and full of life, and now you just get this. What what's well, left of me? Well, I now. get you this time. Not much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back. You Thanks know, you're a veteran. Thank you. Uh, yes. But yes. we're here to talk about everything you've been doing since Circle. So you have yeah. this new uh, anthology series, yep. Dark Web. Dark Web. Okay. Yes. Tell me about that in your own words. How would you describe it? Okay, so I've been practicing this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've had to do it a lot lately. So Dark Web is an eight-episode uh, anthology series with a twist. It's an eight-episode mystery series. It's an anthology show that has a connective narrative to it. So you get your kind of like Twilight Zone, Black Mirror anthology segments yeah. in each episode. But then there's also this storyline, the more you watch, you realize it's all connected which is our tagline we're, or no our taglines we're all part of it but but we're all connected it's sort of a metaphor for like the internet we're all connected on social media right. these episodes are all connected the more you watch you see sort of recurring themes and character names and easter eggs and it's like a puzzle piece that all comes together by the end of it i like that a puzzle piece yeah. so it's, yeah. it's going to be a good or puzzle a big puzzle yeah yeah, yeah. So it's a mystery puzzle it's a mystery puzzle with a lot of pieces you yeah. know it's not one of those easy puzzles that you had when you were a kid uh, okay. it's like Got the weird pieces that are all. Is it gonna hurt color. my head? Yeah, yeah. So okay. in a good way. In Which a good I way. like. It'll I like things you. like that. I'm a huge fan of like psychological thriller. Like that's just good. that's my thing. Yeah, then you I was like it. watching the trailer, and uh, I saw where you had actually uh, uh, you had commented uh, to a, a some a, to a viewer, and they said, "Yeah, oh, they're geez. they're all they're all uh, not connected." And you said, "Oh, but they are." So that's I love that you kind of described that because I like that you, you know you keep in touch with the fans. Yeah, but you're course. saying no, actually, you think you know, but you have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we liked about it. It's a little bit unique. I mean, there's a lot of anthology shows or have been throughout time, but this one's kind of the thing that made it difficult for us was the thing that excited us was just having this this way of connecting all the stories into one kind of puzzle. I keep yeah. saying puzzle. It's a puzzle. It is unique, but how did you even come up, like, how was the whole concept even thought of, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I think uh, me and Mario Michoni and, and my brother Tim Nardelli, we all worked together on Circle, and we were looking for another opportunity to sort of, like, take that that collaboration that we had on Circle and take it to the next level and do something that was a little more ambitious and an eight-episode series. And, um, and I did, the, the idea was always to do like an anthology show, like what I grew up on, Twilight Zone or Outer Limits, um, just because I really like the way that they can deal with topical issues and relevant things and the way that we're feeling, but in sort of like a sci-fi thriller way. And, um, and, and then the idea was always to have it connected by one storyline, which in this case is this girl who goes missing named Molly, mm -hmm. um, who leaves, you know, clues about her disappearance to all of her ah, old high school friends. And the more you watch, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Scooby-Doo and Scooby Gang. That's yes. what we call ourselves sometimes. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's the idea came from that. And then we kind of circled in on on uh, the dark web itself because it's real and it's scary and it's sort of a fertile uh, breeding ground for storytelling and ideas. And, uh, and we did feel like we're the generation dealing with the dark web, not just like the real dark web, but the, mm -hmm. the real world wide web as a dark place, um, which includes social media and, you know, the, the way that we're communicating now. And, you know, I've said it a lot of times, but it's like we're the last generation that remembers the analog world, um, but is yeah, sort of the first foot in the digital world, this yeah. like tech landscape that we live in now. So it felt like that was our unique point of view and, and like reason to do the story. Yeah, it's a really cool concept. I was, um, Thank you. when I was, you know, of course, 
researching and looking it up, I also came across dark net. Yeah. And so yeah. it's it's su- there's there's similarities, but of course there's differences. What would you how would you compare? Uh, well, I haven't seen dark net. I yeah. just know like our show was going to be called dark net when we first started working on right. it, and then that came out while we were filming it. Which is it, dark net is a Showtime. Show. Why am I I'm promoting somebody else's show? No, no, no. Um, but it's okay. Uh, dark net is a documentary, I think. So our show right. is obviously fiction. It's more sci-fi, thriller. There's horror elements. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely went through a name change. We're dark web, dark slash yeah. web. Um, and yeah, and dark net from what I understand is like a, a traditional docuseries about the real dark net. So Got it. watch them both. I mean, I guess I, I'd rather watch dark web, but I think it's just interesting, you know, how that happens when you are coming up with, you know, a concept and then someone else might have something similar and, you know, you have to kind of go through that whole process. Yeah, it it's was a weird. Lot. Like that, I mean, it happened a couple of times. Like it was dark yeah. net and then we start, we changed it to dark web and then while we were filming, there was some like press release that the Coen brothers were doing a movie called dark web and then there's been other stories that we have one episode that's about a rideshare driver that, you know, has some sinister qualities let's just say and you know that storyline other people have done it and then it's even repeated itself in real life recently sadly unfortunately you know there's you know the dangers of like do you know whose car you're getting into absolutely with uber and all that yeah yeah so it's sad and it's scary but um but happened a lot more if i mean the names uh that we had to change and then even in the news um you know, corporations getting major corporations getting hacked and cyber terror and all of these things that were that are in our show or are, are happening in real time as yeah. we're filming. So it's exciting but scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Wanna, you know, we don't want to be fortune tellers for that kind of stuff, but you know, <laughs> but it, it's happening. So, but I also I think it's I think it's interesting that you guys even have that kind of perspective that you can kind of put that spin on a show. You know, to where people can see it in such a way like that. For yeah. um, you know, just. With the show, where do you see it going, you know, from here on out? Next steps? Yeah. Uh, well, if you watch... Well, the series, I the should fun, say. The series, yeah, yeah, the series show. Um, if you watch the last episode, which you haven't seen yet... I have not seen it you'll yet. You'll see that, like, no the, the story wraps itself up to a certain degree. The main characters kind of, you know, achieve a certain mission. Okay. Adventure, if you will. Um, but there's definitely more to tell. We have ideas for what another season could be. It'd be a little bit different. Um, we hope we get to tell it. Uh, the show came out a couple weeks ago, and it seems like people are finding it and watching it and liking it. So if that keeps going, right. then hopefully we'll have the opportunity to uh, to do Dark Web Season 2. 2.0. Yeah. 2.0. Fingers crossed. That's what we always hope for. Uh, and, of course, if you guys yeah, want to watch it, it's on Amazon Prime. Yes. Right? Amazon Prime. Yes. All episodes streaming now. You can binge it. You can watch it one at a time. You can binge it twice. Yeah. Okay, and you so uh, as far as comics, now I know that you uh, were at Comic Con recently this past year. Yes. But you've yep. had uh, this feature, uh, or I think you had something screened at the San Diego Comic Con in 2015. That was Circle. That yeah, was Circle when I was, when I was here. Okay, yeah. so then yeah. that's like a full circle moment, though. It's like you premiere Circle full there, circle. and yeah. then <laughs> yes. then you come at uh, Comic Con again. Yeah. Yeah. And then this year, so you know, what's that like when you kind of find yourself back, like? What yeah, is that like for I mean, you? it was super exciting. Like, I went to Comic Con just as like a nerd fanboy yes. back in the day. We love nerds here. Yes, yes, because we are we're nerds. I mean, I'll, I'll claim it. Yeah. I didn't know I was a nerd for the longest time until people told me, and I feel like that's when you know mm. you're a nerd. What did people you think you were? You. I just thought I was a typical person that was watching amazing shows. Like, you know, I was telling you how I like uh, anime, and I know how you used to watch it a little bit more, yeah. but yep. it was just my thing. And I'm like, this is amazing. The the graphics, the animation, it's not that American art is lazy, but it's, you know, when you look at the Japanese art, it's beautiful. so beautiful. Yeah. And the storytelling yes. is very complex. And, and people die. And like, you yeah. see the Pretty violent. Yeah. yeah, but it's like, when you see it as a kid, it's like, wow, this this is next level. Yeah, I So what was, it. you oh, know, what, was what had your whole love for comics? Oh, well, uh, for comics, and co- I mean, with Comic-Con, it was just crazy that we got to go back. Yeah. Um, you know, we had a we screen circle there in 2015, and then we got to go back this summer with an actual official panel at Comic Con, which was so cool. We were in the Horton Theater where they had like movies like It and yeah. everything like that. So we were like, oh, we were just like, how did this? How did we get here? Because we just are this tiny indie show, and then like we went up through the secret elevator to the main floor, and did like an autograph session and all that stuff. So it's been awesome, an awesome progression with Comic Con to go as. A nerdy fanboy yeah. or fangirl like you. Um, and then, you know, it's gotten bigger each time. And then we had a panel this year, which was so like once in a lifetime event, probably never happened again. 
No, I'll always just, claim, always claim the best. I mean, you never know what could well, happen. Well, hopefully more. Yeah. But if it, if it never happens again, I'm glad it happened once because it was so much fun and the cast and crew were there and it was just, it was awesome. It was yeah. so cool. It was so cool. Dream come true. Who knows? Maybe Christmas morning moment. Yeah. Yes. Which I, I mean, you've been in Christmas movies too. I mean, you've done a lot oh, of yeah. things, yeah. you know. Um, now, currently, are you in a play? The the narcissist. The narcissist next, next door. door. Or did it? No, it just, just ended. Ended in yeah. June. In uh, in July. In late like, June. I don't even know what, what month are we in now. Yeah, we're like in August. It, the year is going by so fast. This summer has gone by so fast yeah. because of the play and Comic Con and right. like getting the show out. It's like. Pshaw. Uh, but yeah, it ended in in June, late June, um, as part of the LA, the Hollywood Fringe Festival, mm-hmm. um, and it was this crazy like farce satire of kind of LA people and LA lifestyle, and and that book, The Secret, yeah, um, and it was a lot of fun to be back up on stage and to you know to follow a character's arc from start to finish in a night instead of like you know chopped up over days exactly. or weeks when you're doing like film or TV. Um, so it was, it was great to get back and get like the live reaction and live audience involvement it was really hard because i'm used to used to more film and tv i hadn't done live theater right. in a while so memorizing all those lines and being on stage the whole time mm-hmm. it's kind of like, a different oh, feeling it's a, de- it's a whole nother vibe it's and a totally different vibe yeah, I, yeah. Th- this is also why i like doing mini spotlight because i always meet someone who i have so much in common with like yeah. we're both nerds and we both you know like to be on the stage since you do kind of come more from the film TV background, do you have a preference or would you want to still see yourself on stage too? I'd like to keep doing all, I'm def, I like I had it in my mind, like, oh, I want to do more theater. And then this kind of right. came up. Like I just wanted to, I hadn't done it in a while. I do like improv and sketch, which is, you know, live theater, but not. And you studied you know. theater at USC. Or, yeah, or, yeah, studied theater. I studied with the ground lanes. I studied film at USC. So it's all like there. I just hadn't done it in a while because I was so focused on, on film and TV in the last couple of years. Just been so busy with dark web, um, but it was like great. It's very refreshing. Gets gets like your creative artistic juju back. Yeah, and, it's you know. it's just a whole nother element. Now I now I need to get back on Let's the stage. Let's do it. Let's do Let's a play. Do it. Yeah, I want to hey. do a musical too. I can't sing, yes. but I'm, I'm learning. You can I'm do trying. background. They'll just blend oh, in, and <laughs> you do the background vocals. We'll just that's all you need to do. <laughs> it's fine. Want, You'll blend. I can't be like the Coley. We can't do like a big I don't duet. know. I get, it's gonna depend on what notes we need that you show character me in the to background hit. Background without even hearing me. I mean, hey, you can you can do multiple roles. That's the great thing about okay. theater. You never know. Okay. I'll yeah. Be quick like changes. The, I'll be the choir or something. Yeah. I'll work my way up. Exactly. Way there's up. a there's room for everybody. Um. But yeah. I it's, hope so. <laughs> yeah. You have a great personality. I think it's awesome what you're doing. Dark Web Thanks. and everything that you're doing. Well, that you have done so far. Thank you. So before we head out, I want you to tell viewers where they can find you. All right. So you can find me on the dark web, the real dark web, yes. which is Facebook. <laughs> and it, No, it's not dark. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at the Nardelli. N-A-R-D-E-L-L-I. Nardelli, the best last name ever. Uh, but you guys, I'm Jamie Gray. Thank you so much for tuning in to our mini Spotlight series. Of course, Michael Nardelli. Uh, so Dark Web is on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Watch yep. it now and don't spoil the ending. For Bye, me. everyone. All right. Thanks for having Thank me. You. Thank you, Jamie, for having me. Of course. Me. See you guys Bye, later. Guys and gals. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.